And if I wanted to, I could go into that root level. So like, let's say, let's say that here I am, and I, I need administrator privileges. So now I'm in the real root, right? By PWD, this is the real root. This is my real file system right here. So now with that installed and, and set up, if I were to change to that directory, let's say I were to go to um, security and jail and list the contents, notice this, this you know, it looks a lot like my root file system. But in this case, I'm in security jail. And if I go to my root file system, you know, there's a security folder. So if I want to, I'll use the chroot command with sudo and security jail okay so I'm going to temporarily change my root from the real root to the fake root security jail and when I do that now look at the if I list the contents there's no security folder because I'm actually in the security forward slash jail folder two subdirectories down um, but if I print my working directory for all intents and purposes the system thinks I'm in root so I couldn't recurse out of it I'm trapped or I'm in jail so to speak when I print my working directory and that's great because now any program that I run here any application it's trapped or locked into this folder and that way if something bad happens my real file system two directories up is protected nothing can get out of this folder here hence the term or hence why it's called a ch root jail and to get out of here I'd simply type exit and once I exit now I'm at my real root so again this was my fake root up here when I did, used the CH root command, now I'm in my real root, and there the directory is. There are a few uh, post setup activities that we should engage in as well. Let me clear the screen here. Um, first off, if I want to manage uh, processes or you know list processes with the PS command or kill processes then I'll need to mount, you know, basically I'll have to mount the uh, proc folder, a directory, file system in the ch root. Um, and the way to do that, you know, again, I could do uh, sudo mount. Um, I'll pass in an option here. I'm going to bind. And I'm going to do proc. And I want to go and find security and jail. Um, in this case the, the folder that I was in and then I want to go and mount it to the proc folder and again if I list security jail you know so now it's mounted to the actual proc folder here inside the the two subdirectories that comprise or hold my my ch root jail The other thing that I might want to do is if I have DNS settings, remember where that is in etcresolve.conf? Um, so again, if I were to cat that, notice that you know in this case I'm using name servers here, and this was just automatically updated or added by a network manager. But I want to copy that or implement that in my ch root gel as well. And so the easiest thing to do, I could just do sudo and copy and etc resolve.conf and where I want to put it is the equivalent folder in my ch root jail so that's security jail uh, there is an etc folder just like in my real file system and resolve.conf okay and then that, that'll give me name resolution so let's say you know now I, if I want to I can go into my I can use the command ch root sudo ch root go into my root jail and run like Firefox or some other program and still I'd be able to you know, resolve host names, connect to the internet, that sort of thing. Okay, um, now that we've set up and configured our ch let's um, actually activate it and use it. So I'm going to use the command sudo ch root. Um, well actually before I do this, again, take a look at my directory structure. Notice here's the security folder and inside of security is the jail folder. So two subdirectories down, and then that's where the file system is for my CH root jail. So if I were to print working directory, this is root for me now with the security folder. Now watch what happens. sudo ch root, and I'm going to change my root to security and jail. 
And now when I do this, now look, if I list the contents, there's no security folder there like there was before. If I print the working directory, yeah, sure, I'm still at root, but that's not the real root. That's the that's illusion. Um, you know, that's that's deception because I'm actually stuck in a ch root jail. I can't recurse out of it, so anything that happens here stays here. And that means that my real file system is safe. Um, but for all intents and purposes, until I exit the shell, the, the system shell believes that this is root and I can't go any I can't recurse up or go up any further. But, you know, in reality I'm actually in security forward slash jail. And Um, now that I'm here, let's install a few applications. And there's not very much installed here by default, but I'm just going to do sudo apt git install and nano. Um, oops, haven't even installed sudo yet. So let me do apt git install nano. Okay, um, that'll give me nano, and I, I, first thing, I need at least a couple of text editors, good grief. Um, and you may want to install 177 megabytes. I don't know if I want to wait that long. I'm going to go ahead and say yes, and we'll come back. I won't make you watch while all of these things download. Okay, I told you I wouldn't make you wait. So we finished downloading 177 megabytes worth of packages and files. And we're going to unpack them. So far, we've installed nano in our ch root jail, and we're setting up gedit in our ch root jail. So two text editors, and then the next thing I'm going to grab is some internet tools, so maybe Firefox and a BitTorrent client, and gftp or an FTP client. Typically, you know, things I would be using on a network or internet. Again, where I might want to protect them with a ch root jail. Also, I'm thinking I may install nmap. Um, Netcat, SoCat, and a couple other network tools in my CH root jail. Let's say I want to launch a graphical application from within my CH root jail, which I'm currently in. So, um, one of the things I could do is simply export uh, the display to my X server. So to do that, um, you could simply say export space display equals and then colon 0, 0.0. And were I to do this, let me let me go ahead and launch something here. I can launch Firefox. And I still have to I, I still need to install a few more dependencies here, but just to give you an idea though. Okay, so now I'm running Firefox, okay, but I'm not running Firefox in my actual operating system. So let's say I go to a really naughty place, a bad website, and my browser gets hijacked and my system gets infected. Well, the only thing that gets infected or hijacked is actually my, um, let me just go to Yahoo here. The only thing that actually gets infected would be what's in my CH root jail. So I can surf, I can use Firefox, but I'm not using... You know, if, if I click on Firefox out here, now I'm actually running it from my real operating system. And where I had to go to a bad place and something got past my defenses, my, my firewall, my antivirus, you know, then my system would be infected, a security compromised, or my browser hijacked. But running it like this inside my ch root jail, not so. It can't get out of that folder. So I could just run Firefox there. Um, I still need to install, I need to app get and install a lot more applications here. Um, if, if I wanted, I, you know, if, if I were willing to consume gigabytes of extra disk space, I could do an entire complete other operating system. But just to give you an idea of a few more applications, um, let me launch gedit. Okay, and then here's gedit. And the same thing here. In just a graphical application, I have not, I'm now exporting it to an X window, but I'm running it from within inside my CH root jail. Okay. And then, if I wanted to, again, if I want to get on my CH root jail, I would just say exit. And now I'm actually in the real root, whereas before I was in the fake root.